Now um, there is a new concept uh, which says that uh, the, the economic activities by workers uh, and economic units are uh, in the for informal economy are in law or in practice not covered or insufficiently covered, and I emphasize or insufficiently covered by formal arrangements, which means that all the phenomenon of uberization, people who are not sufficiently covered by formal arrangements, not they are may, maybe partly covered, are now uh, can be classifiable in the informal economy, which was not the case if you talked about the informal economy 10 years ago. Under that definition, the uh, informal economy has come back in a very big way in Europe. Yeah? And we have to be aware of that, and we cannot look on the side when we are cooperatives, because this is something we have to face. And what does this mean for the future of the workforce, for the young population? Does it mean they need to learn how to forecast, how to code, more languages? Or does it mean something else to be able to compete with the, 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 the or robots? Does it mean they need to be more human, more empathetic? more creative, more innovative, more resilient. What are the, what are the skills? The um, preoccupation with skills, with upskilling, um, and with preparing people to take up jobs in the labor market. Now we have to be realistic. People cannot live with dignity if they don't work. But I think, at least from an educator, educator's point of view, Learning goes beyond preparing yourself to take up a job and to take up, you know, a, a position uh, within the labor market. Uh, learning is, is for life. Work is part of that life. It's a very significant part of that life. Uh, my preoccupation is to argue from the standpoint of entitlement and of human rights. Uh, I think that is crucial. And uh, I think cooperatives are really um, in the right place and function in the right framework to, you know, work from that direction towards workers' rights and, you know, towards um, facing the, 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 the rapid developments that will be taking place in the world of work. That is, arguing for workers' rights from a standpoint of entitlement. There is an enormous transfer of, uh, of uh, employed population from uh, the uh, salaried workers to uh, self-employed. So this is, uh, in some countries, more than in others. Uh, in the UK, it has become uh, absolutely massive, but it's something that is awaiting us also in other European countries. Um, at the same time, we also see, at the, in, at the same moment, the growth of the informal work in industry and services. So uh, the cooperative movement has the duty to uh, let's say, uh, be aware of these, two, of, of these two phenomena, these two parallel phenomena, and see what can be done from within the cooperative movement. Le salariat est la manière de mieux protéger le travail. Et, voilà. Et donc on fait, en fait, exactement le contraire de ce que fait Uber. Uber... The Uber platform actually managed to do something really great. They actually made these workers believe that they were freelance and make them believe this so that they don't pay uh, the totality of the cost of the work. Because you see, the social contract, which is that of a salaried worker, is a contract based on the exchanged between the subordination, I, I give freely, right? I give some of my freedom, and in exchange, I obtain protection. Protection, which is a guaranteed remuneration, social protection, right? Um, health, unemployment, etc. And all this represents a certain cost. And they also managed to increase subordination 
uh, many more constraints, less freedom, yet at the same time not taking uh, in hand the totality of the cost of work. Since Uber uh, individualizes the responsibility of work on the chauffeur driver himself, um, who doesn't see him, uh, doesn't get the totality of his work remunerated. Therefore, uh, it transformed the subordinate uh, uh, workers into freelance workers. And what we do at Smart is exactly the contrary of this. We actually uh, hack uh, the, the, the principle of uh, a salaried contract because we take autonomous, highly autonomous um, workers. Not everybody has the same level of autonomy, but for some, yes, very highly, in fact. And we give them... Uh, the statue, the position of salaried worker. This is exactly the contrary. In this uh, freelancer uh, landscape, in fact, there's a lot to learn from the Global South because, you know, guess what? The youth and the people of the Global South have been struggling with informality and uh, for, uh, the freelancer phenomenon, uh, insecure uh, job phenomenon for many years. And there is uh, things to learn from them. We landed at the port of Taranto on the 23rd of July, 2014. Uh, on the same day, uh, at about 8 o'clock in the evening, I was already in the uh, welcome center uh, to, to, request, um, to request asylum. Uh, Karan Castelnuovo di Porto here, uh, which is very close to Rome. Here I had the opportunity to experiment and for the first time in many years the sensation of being secure, of being safe. Then, finally, I could also listen here, my, my family, with whom I did not have any contact for almost two years. The cooperative, the cooperative has helped me to take control of my life. Suddenly, I was surrounded by friends who were ready to help. Today, I am a social operator. I work in the Welcome Center. Mondo Migliore, which is found in Rocca di Papa near Rome, and it is considered as one of the nicest one, the, one of the nicest in the world. I, I, my work is to welcome and accompany during the the, per, the uh, permanent period for migrants by helping them with uh, linguistic mediation and assistance during all the time in which they are uh, seeking asylum. I am sure for what actually happened in my life, that if there would be more cooperatives and more, uh, the world would be much nicer and more fair. Poi, secondo me, pian piano, nel corso degli ultimi anni, lo status di cittadinanza che deriva dal lavoro è stato sostituito dallo status di cittadinanza che deriva dal, dal consumo. Consumiamo gli stessi oggetti, quindi ci identifichiamo, ci sentiamo cittadini del mondo perché abbiamo tutti lo stesso oggetto. Allora, e questa è una trappola da cui bisogna cominciare a uscire, trovando una nuova alleanza tra il consumatore e il lavoratore. Noi potremmo dire, allora, parafrasando Don Milano, che il mio problema è uguale a quello degli altri, sortirne insieme in cooperativa, sortirne da soli il capitalismo.